I really enjoy being a shared lives carer. I um, started off by having a young lady that stayed for a weekend, allegedly, and 11 years later, she moved on into independence. So it sort of chose me, I think, rather than the other way around. But yeah, I really do like it. Strangely enough, my extended family really like it as well. So they sort of get the extended family as well as the immediate family, which is really nice. I came over from fostering to become a shared life carer for Emma when Emma was 18. And so Emma's 26 years old now. My life is different and nice and lots of different ways and better. I do lots of different things. I do want to work and back by cafe on a Monday and Tuesday. I go out with uni and do an activity in my house. I go to nine months in going home. Emma, when she first came to us, um, was terrified of the cooker. And now I just sit in the kitchen and she prepares a full meal. And it's, it's lovely to see. Um, to see them when they're at drama club, being part of um, the show, remembering their lines, doing their acting. Terry wouldn't even come out from behind the curtain when he first went there. Now, what do you do now? You're the lead roles now, aren't you? I was for compare. You were the compare. His confidence has grown. Um, Emma, she used to have her head down and not talk to people and shuffle around. Now she's yeah. very confident and speaks to people, yeah. has her own opinion. Yeah. So it's great. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's nice to see them develop that. Terry, when he was at school, he was very, very close to being asked to leave school. Now, how many times have you got student of the year? Um, quite four times. So complete turnaround. Yeah. The skills I have learned since I've lived with June and you is how to not go shopping in the way that I'm going to be caught in. And I've learned how to cook and I've learned how to do things I do well at better. Make sure that you are very clear about what you're prepared to do because it is a job that can actually grow in lots of different directions directions. Make sure you're, you get the full knowledge of the person that they're going to ask you to care for and um, also get the correct training because we're dealing with complexity of needs, complexity of medication, medical conditions. They all need to be looked at realistically and managed realistically so that Training is the key to making sure that you can do all those things. To be a part of this family, it feels amazing, fantastic, cool and fabulous. Yeah, I think it's fair to say as well, Emma, my family have got very special feelings for you and Terry, haven't they? So yeah. they really enjoy spending time with you, which is nice. Yeah.